what can I say? What can I say anymore? Please, but I'm so happy that I started this because it just really <coughs> gives me some level, hold on, of continuity to the, to like, it's just like a wham of time. So I just, I'm in my new Netflix thing. I finished Elite. Now I'm into um, Boy Toy. Anybody watch that yet? With the stripper who's a kill, accused of like killing his, her, his lover's husband. So right now I'm getting a rock concert um, by my neighbors who cannot realize that the volume of their music, which is probably vibrating their room, is actually vibrating my room. But, you know, it's a fine balance between community. We have to allow, hold on, <coughs> we have to allow everybody there. Who's here? I can't, I'm so sorry. I don't see anything anymore. So... I, I don't see, I don't even know who's here. Why isn't it not working? I'm really failing at this Facebook Live. So, it's probably Laura. Hi, Laura. L'chaim, l'chaim, baruchat Adonai, Elohim, l'chalom, b'rei priya gafim, because if I look, I can't remember. Shavua Tov, I hope everybody had a great Shabbos or a great Shabbat, as great as it can be. I'm in Shangri Lulu. So yeah, so the neighbors. So it's just like today I put my music to I I went out. Yay, I was so happy to be out of just my door. Just my door. That's all I need. Just a little son. I'm a happy girl. And I talked to the neighbors. What were their names? I don't know. At that point I was just like I, I have no social st skills anymore. I have like to communicate to people and like across fences and stuff. Um, and then we have these wild children that it was cute. I walked out, they're like, Shalom. And I'm like, hi, who are you kids? So, um, so yeah, so the mother was like, I don't know. It, it, it just sort of happened before where this literally was a child underneath my window, hysterically crying in like a fit of rage. And I'm listening and I'm listening as you know, I'm in one room. It's a little, hi, Peter. Um, I have to talk to you after this. Uh, we have to the you know the crowd is they're really not behaving well Pete you, I, you gotta help me with those with one oh my god out of control I spent today at the dog the duck pond with them um but um anyway so <laughs> I started from the window but I can't open the window so I'm like talking to the kid in Hebrew because he, he wouldn't shut up so I, I'm convinced the kid thought the tree was talking because, like, silence. Then the mother came out of nowhere because I kept going to the kid, come here, come here. Like, voice out of nowhere, come here. It's her kid. She got the message. She took her kid to another place. But I don't know who she is. Never seen her. Maybe I've seen her kids. Or they're a little wild. But anyway, so that was the interesting day. Um, I can't, my brain is melted and... Um, Sorry for those last couple of days. Just not feeling so great. But, you know, we all are. We all are humans. We all need our light. We all need our movement. And um, I definitely need to, like, run free. And I'm feeling very um, caged. But I also learned, you know, it's like it's really about your truth. It really, really, truly is just about your truth. Like, the idea that I'm learning so much about myself that, hi Inga, oh Inga, you need to help me on this thing because I'm no baker. I don't know about this yeast thing. Um, but I'm really learning that I have immense self-control and it's really such an admirable uh, thing. Like, yeah, I would love for this to be over, but I'm not like lock people up, uh, you know, I'm hearing the strangest things. I mean, are they conspiracy theories? I have no idea. But first of all, we have an issue with the ultra-Orthodox. They're out of control and that that's wrong. But at the same time, like, you know, I was privy to surfers today and they were like, waves are coming. What are we going to do? And I'm like, you're going to sit fucking home. Like all of us. Okay. Like you're, you're all just going to sit home and you're going to sit still and stay sane. And I was, like, reaching out to leaders, like, can you guys open your mouths and just, like, be a leader of the community? Isn't that what this is all about right now? It's like, 
It's like Cuomo. I mean, he's such a leader. I never heard the guy really speak before. But, you know, I, every time he's on, I want to hear him. He makes me feel a little better. Um, <laughs> Trump. But, like, he's confusing me. But when does he not confuse all of us? And it's a little weird. But I have to say, he is doing stuff. And people are really, the news is really overwhelming and making a mess of a lot of things. Um um, yeah, so this self-control thing, but I was really shocking when I see such like people that I admire or whatever it is, and they just have no self-control. I think that's really weird, you know, and you could be the brightest person. You just have no self-control. It, it's a pandemic. Where are you going? What's so important? And then I think about, come on, everybody, let's go on the same page with this runner thing. Like it's a pandemic. Why do you need to run? And there's this whole thing in this, um, I read about, about exercise. Like it's actually really not good right now with an immune system, like in a quarantine situation, you should avoid excess exercise. You should move, you should do exercise, but e excess or extreme or I don't know if they meant running, but all it does is sort of, it runs down your immune system. But I see runners and I like run like hell. For me, it's like someone having a coughing fit or sneezing all over me. It's a runner. They're sweating. There's a microscopic nastiness flying off their body at high speeds, like if they run by you and they love to do that here. So I saw a runner, I'm like, I'm a hermit. I am a professional hermit at this point. I like, I don't know how to explain it. And even if people sometimes call, I'm like, I don't, I don't really know if I'm in the mood to talk. Like, it's just, just inside the bubble of Shangri Lulu. Lula. Lala? Shangri? Lula. I think that's what I've renamed it. <coughs> Cough is back. That's not good. And the more that I move, the more I cough, so I still have to be careful. Um, pretty much everyone's on the page about the immoral psychologist, but, you know, I'm not going to fight the fight. If I start seeing the people tomorrow, I just won't go out. I just won't go out. It's just whatever. I mean, I care, I care about my mental and physical health, but right now, like, I got, my lungs got hit so badly, like, just a, a month ago. The last thing I want to do is be, you know, I, I couldn't, my lungs won't handle this virus pretty much, so I, I have to just really keep myself safe watching. Oh, that's what I said. I was like, it says watching, Inga, but I, I thought you guys wrote me something. Write me something, Peter. Write me something, Inga. Tell me something. What did you make today? Um... I have so many bananas, so tomorrow, it's like the whole menu, the healthy menu, um, tomorrow is banana pancakes with like just bananas and like a teensy, teensy, teensy bit of whole wheat flour. Um, but right now, anybody else, all I want to eat is fruits and vegetables. Like I gained, what did I gain? When I was in college, I think I gained the freshman 30 and I'm now I'm like losing the Corona 10. It's like unbelievable. My whole life I dieted and I never could lose weight. And now all of a sudden, although today, after I actually outed myself on this, I could not stop eating today. So who knows what tomorrow will bring? Um... Anybody? What you drinking? L'chaim, l'chaim. Opa. We're having. It's the change of season, so we left from winter, and I always get a lot of um, bugs. Oh, Leon the spider. I, I told Leon, walls, corners, ceilings. And I found Leon in my stuff, and I was like, no, Leon. And it was just like, I, I was this close to pouring the water, like, on Leon, but it's just, I felt bad, you know, why would I do that, you know, but ants, now ants is, it's different, because they're damaging, and now the season's changed, and they're just, they just won't stop, it's just such an invasion, and I have such little space to begin with, now I got an ant invasion to take up this space, so that's about it, oh, I have chicken soup, hmm, um, yeah, God, is that all we can talk about is food, germs, hygiene, sterilization? Okay, here's some really good news. But I don't know for you guys in America, but for us, a friend of mine on the front line, like a complete angel, I think he just wants to like pump up my morale. He's just like, we, can, we could see the end in two weeks. I was like, two weeks? 
I was like, what if everybody stays on the same page? She's just like, yeah, well, everyone needs to be on the same page and lockdown needs to be strong. But we could, we could really, really, we could bring this to an end in two weeks. Supposedly our numbers went down. So that's great news, right? Because I want to put my wetsuit on and go swimming. That's all, like, all I dream about is just swimming. Um, So I think I've done my duties that I've committed to. I've come on. I've said hi. I'm that little stable figure between 10 and 11. If there's not stability for you guys, at least it's something for me and so important in this this little head of mine. Um, I can't say I've gotten much done. I can say I've lost something major, major, major for me in the last two weeks. And it's somewhere in this apartment and I cannot find it. Who else is watching? I don't see you guys. Who else is there? Um, so I can't find it anywhere. And it's just, it's, it's super, super important. And it's just such a bummer. Like, can't I find it? It's just crazy, and it's really something you definitely need in a pandemic, and I don't have it. So, um, anything else? Any new facts? I've heard just this whole thing is just so contagious and weird and air, and things stay in the air, and this aerosol thing. That's the aerosol thing is bothering me. You know, that's the one thing that's really starting to freak me out a little bit. Oh, that and the idea that the lovely liberals of Israel have decided that they're angry at the prime minister for a change. And so they're going to rebel in the middle of a quarantine. And on Monday, there's going to be a demonstration. Hi, Chase. How are you? Um, And there's going to be a demonstration against the prime minister's quarantine. Or, or the money, like they're fighting about money, and it's it's pretty much if like everybody got in their cars in Washington and started to demonstrate in front of the White House, which would be totally illegal right now during a quarantine. So it's just so bad, and after all the work of being in lockdown, to to do something like a rally right now would just it's just it's just moronic, and of course, like. The people that I just saw in this video, they're not even educated people. You know, maybe they, they have fame of some level. But, like, how do you do that? How do you do that to a country? Everyone's sitting here in lockdown. I'm more than a month in this crap. And some jerks want to go and demonstrate. So if they demonstrate in their cars, who knows? But still, like, why? Why give extra work to the guys on the front line, to the police, to, like, security workers, to everybody? You know, and then we have our next problem is Pesach, Passover. So Purim totally destroyed the Jewish community globally with this, you know, and I'm not getting it because I was freaking out. I'm like, no way, no parties. But it went on. And now we're having a problem with Passover. So we have one rabbi that is, you know, there's a a, a Mizrahi rabbi, not the Ashkenazi. Like, the more stringent of rabbis is Ashkenazi, the the European descent ones. So the ones from the Spanish descent, Arabic descent, so they, they're they saying it's okay to open up the internet, that no one should be alone. I mean, it's brilliant, and it's it should be used. God, God's given us this plague in a pandemic, but he's also given us technology, and it would be foolish not for us to protect ourselves mentally. No one should be isolated, and no one should be alone right now at all. Um, and they are. So if there is technology to make you feel a little less lonely, that's brilliant. Uh, so we shall see, because if people cheat on Pesach and then families get blended and together and it's just more spreading. It's just such common sense. Doesn't anybody figure this out? Someone told me I should go take a walk outside. It's a lovely day. Stay alive. Da da da. He's just like, this is a hoax. Like, it's just so disturbing that someone would actually think i heard that bb and trump have done this to to make a lot of money people it came out of wuhan i'm afraid of being called racist to say where it's originated from hi laura nice to see you of course thank you um but You know, I'm not going to go get into that whole racist game, but a lot of people crying racism because Trump called it the Chinese flu are the same people that made fun or called Israel racist when they closed our borders to the South Koreans who were actually the ones that brought 
they were the, the first cases of the coronavirus were brought by South Korean pilgrims. I'm not blaming it on them. We have lots of travelers. They too brought it back, but that was the first case that we knew of. No one had had it in Israel, but we knew that those pilgrims that had visited had it. So it's very difficult when you hear everybody giving all this hate and dissing and accusing everybody of all this conspiracy crap. I really highly, whether you like him or not, I do not think Trump nor, you know, Prime Minister Bibi Netanyahu, um, oh, it's, uh, it was it was weird today, but a little cloudy, a little sunny. Um, I do not believe that they that they are doing this to make money or or anything else. Really, people, this everybody's working so hard to just bring sanity and health and protection. And you know, now these boats are on their way to New York City. Right now, we all got to pray for New York City and Florida because everybody left New York and went to Florida. So everybody. Let's toast a raisy glass. L'chaim, l'chaim. All right, I'm going to get back to my Netflix movie, The Toy Boy. He's so hot. And when you're sitting all alone, you're like, yeah, I don't watch things where I see hot men. What can I say? So, shalom, shalom. Shalom, can, wait. Shalom can be high and shalom can be bye. Have a great week from Tel Aviv. In Tel Aviv, we start our week on Sunday, but pretty much since we're in Shangri-La, um, it's all just a and there's no real end and beginning of the week, but we have Shabbat, and so it's really cool. And I'm always around for Corona days from 10 to 11 at some point. And keep your throat moist, everybody. Honey, ginger, and lemon. Oh my God, my ginger is running low. That could be a semi-devastation. Lots of love. Have a great week. Bye. Lover's husband.